Mr. Prime Minister, Honourable Ministers and Regional Governors, Excellencies, Representatives of the International Community, Ladies and Gentlemen, I'm honoured to have this opportunity to address you as a special representative of Mr. Ban Ki-moon, the United Nations Secretary General. I have particular responsibility for food security and nutrition. I'd like to applaud the government and people of Namibia for your commitment to improving nutrition in a coordinated, multi-sectoral manner. I'm particularly pleased that there is a national platform for action, the Namibia Alliance for Improved Nutrition, NAFIN, that is led by the Prime Minister. There is now abundant evidence that good nutrition is critical if countries are to be successful in attaining their Millennium Development Goals. Poor nutrition undermines children's abilities to do well in school and adults' capacities for physical work. It also predisposes to obesity and cardiovascular illness in later life. Nutrition contributes directly to national development. The levels of infant and child malnutrition in Namibia are really surprisingly high, especially stunting of growth. And really, we don't expect this, given the level of resources available in your country and your potential for economic advancement. We know that the thousand days between pregnancy and a child's second birthday are critical. This is the time when we would like to be sure that all are well nourished. It's a time when a child's development is programmed. We call it the thousand day window of opportunity. There are several well-tried and tested low-cost interventions that can make a real difference. They include supplementing the diet with micronutrients like vitamin A, ensuring breastfeeding in the first six months of life, proper weaning to take the child onto adult food, salt iodization, hygiene education, and also deworming. And at all times we would like to see growth carefully monitored so if a child is not growing well, interventions can be put in place. All these interventions are best undertaken within the community in ways that are linked to health and other facilities. At the same time, introducing nutritional goals into agriculture, social welfare, education, employment and gender policies is a highly effective way of securing longer term nutritional well-being of societies. We sometimes call this nutrition sensitive development and it works. The United Nations system, bilateral agencies, other development partners, many international organizations and companies are committed to working on this important agenda. Several countries have come together in the past year with a commitment to scaling up nutrition, or SUN. They are sharing experiences and spelling out their needs clearly to the different stakeholders who want to offer assistance. The Sun Movement is a way in which countries can themselves contribute to a worldwide improvement in nutrition and to a better future for all. I hope that Namibia, through the work of all of you present here today, can demonstrate the capacity and will to scale up nutrition and to show tangible results within the next two or three years. This will be a magnificent contribution to the future of your country and its people. I wish you well in this meeting and I really do hope that I can stay in contact with you as you're taking this work forward. Thank you again for the chance to be with you today.